I spoke with several different stutterers and learned some very interesting stuff. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Stuttering Leo. My name is Leo and I have a stutter. On this channel, I talk about various topics relating to stuttering, whether that's the mental aspects of stuttering, various tips and tricks that you can use, and just general topics that somewhat relate to stuttering, such as how you can build your confidence, your self-esteem, and so on. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please do leave a like, and please make sure to comment because I love to interact with fellow stutterers. So yeah, if, if you do have a stutter, please make sure to, to comment. Or if you're just wanting to learn more about stuttering and have, to sh have something to, to, to share, leave a comment too. I look forward to it. Anyway, the topic of this video is, is me joining an online stuttering support group. Um, I did this through what was previously known as the British Stammering Association which has rebranded itself as Stammer. So S-T-A-M-M-A is how they um, spell out their name. So if you're interested, go go check out their website. Um, they've got some useful content in there, especially the blogs from individual stutterers. So uh, if you're a stutterer, um, you can submit a little blog um, that you can send to them about your own life experience. So it's great to kind of see how other stutterers out there live their life. But anyway, they also uh, conduct online support groups. I initially put myself forward to be a leader of um, the group here in London, United Kingdom, but there was already a group formed. So I simply just joined this one to see how things were. So this was the first session. There were around nine to 10 people. Um, and in the first session, we simply just talked about uh, why we joined the group. We introduced ourselves, one of the nightmares of a stutterer. And the funny thing is, when the group leader um, asked everyone to prepare a little in induction, I could see everyone on, um, on, on, their, on their webcam kind of panicking a little bit because they became a lot more They became a lot more fidgety, uh, including myself. So, which I thought was funny because even though we all knew that everyone in the group was a stutterer, we still panicked at the idea of having to do an, an introduction. But yeah, we just talked about uh, what we wanted from the group. We gave our introduction and what we wanted to learn from the group. So it was around two hours long, but it was very interesting because um, even though I didn't speak uh, as much to begin with, I enjoy just learning about other uh, stammerers and how how they were dealing with the issue of, of stammering and their life and so on. And of course, while we were all talking about this stuff, I was, I was really paying attention to um, how people were speaking, how, they, how, how good or bad their, their stutter was and what they had to say about the topics. And with that all being said, I learned quite a few different things, which I guess some were common, uh, common, obvious things, but some kind of made me rethink how I viewed um, trying to cure myself or how I viewed stuttering as a whole. Now, I'm not going to go into the topic of every little thing that I learned, but I picked out three main main things that I, I did pay attention to. Um, the first one being that I, I saw um, various people on, on, the, on the Zoom chat from different ages, uh, sorry, different ages from different backgrounds who uh, just talked about how how stuttering has affected their life and it, it it wasn't emotional or anything but it was it was more like huh so there are people out there who understand it they understand the pressures of trying to do the most simple of things which is just speak and it's not as though i never knew other stutterers didn't exist of course i did but actually speaking to them really helped 
and it was, it was just great learning and seeing other stutterers and um, and and learning about how how they kind of navigated their life with the stutter. Saying that, there was an older lady who was in her late 50s, early 60s, and she had a very bad stutter. I'm talking about facial tics, um, making, I, I don't like to use the word odd, but to better describe odd noises in order to bring out a word that she was um, planning on say. So she'd spend at least 20, 30 seconds making uh, um, these, these um, noises with her mouth. Um, she had facial tics, all to do, all um, so that she can bring out one word of what she was gonna say. And she was the worst out of the entire group. But what, what this made me realize was this individual, she's in her late 60s, sorry, late 50s, early 60s, and she had a stutter since she was young. And the stutter was really, really bad. It was one of the worst that I've, I've seen, in fact. Um, and this is coming across, uh, and this is coming from uh, the people that I met in real life, not on online. Um, and so, sorry, even though this was online, I mean online in the sense that not from TV shows or YouTube, these are people that I interacted with. Anyway, so this was coming from uh, people that I interacted with and seeing someone at that age having to go through life with such a bad stutter made me kind of grateful it made me grateful first it made me sad that someone had to go through life like this but it made me grateful for the fact that i have a stutter i had a bad stutter which i greatly improved i still stutter don't get me wrong i still have my very i still have like very bad days but i i still uh, stutter but it made me grateful because I was nowhere near um, as bad as she was. And if she was able to get through life, through whatever she had to do to survive, basically, to just survive, work, socialize, just get through day-to-day -day activities as, as, as a regular human, I shouldn't be worrying about certain things when I would say I speak fluently 90% of the time. If, 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 if someone like her can be that brave and that strong to, to, to navigate life with that bad of a stutter, I can do the same. I have a big head start, I have a big benefit of having more fluency. I shouldn't be as scared when doing certain things. And if you are somewhat fluent, um, if you are somewhat fluent in terms of your stuttering, take that to note as well. Realize that there are people out there who have really, really bad stammers who had to navigate life. They're much older now and they didn't have as much resources as we do today. So really just appreciate where you are right now. Another thing which I noticed was that there was a divide between the group. Some viewed um, this support group as a way to potentially learn tips and tricks to get rid of this, their stammer or reduce it. Uh, so come up with um, some sort of way to overcome a block or um, some even just wanted to find a cure to stuttering. And there was another side of the group who was surprised that this side wanted a, a cure where, while the other side just simply wanted to accept their stuttering and this caused some um it, this caused a small debate about the whole topic of wanting to find a cure and wanting to be uh, wanting to accept your stuttering the way i see it is and i'll make a uh, i'll make another video on this topic because i feel like it's a uh, 
it's going to affect the, the wider stuttering population that um, some want to cure, some want to accept. I really, I really feel like it, it depends on each person's situation. So um, I didn't really get too involved with this. Maybe I should have, but um, I'll make another video on that topic. And the final thing which really stuck with me is um, a lady on the group. She, she was in her fifties, but she mentioned that she actually cured her stutter because I did not see her stutter once. But she said she had a really bad stutter um, pretty much all her life. But only in the last four or five years uh, did she actually get to a point where she's like 99% fluent. And I thought she came across some crazy, th uh, crazy uh, innovative therapy that no one's heard of, or she figured out this unique trick but she said that she managed to overcome her stutter by focusing on other areas of her life that she had difficulty with. So she mentioned that she was afraid of swimming, but she once uh, went, she, she one day went into the swimming pool, she dived right in, she, she, she cured her, sorry, she conquered her fear of swimming and doing uh, certain things like that, conquering different aspects of uh, her life, she managed to gain the confidence to actually not stutter. And that really stuck with me because I thought, hang on, I have a f I'm pretty fluent, but there are there's definitely a more of a psychological reason as to why I stutter. So I, I began thinking about what I could potentially do that I can um, uh, that I can conquer all the fears that I can conquer, and whether they will actually bring more confidence within myself to then improve my stuttering overall. Um, again, I'll make another video on this explaining what I plan to do and how even you can do the same thing. And who knows, this doing that might be the cure that we're, we're looking for. If, if it doesn't work, at least we've conquered our, our other fears. But yeah, that was one of the, the key things that I took from this. Um, I'm going to carry on going to this, um, this support group, see what, what else I learn. Um, I'm more interested in just simply speaking and meeting with other stutterers. So I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see what the future, future sessions bring. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video if you did enjoy it. And most importantly, leave a comment below and just tell me about your experiences. Uh, the, the key thing about this channel is for me to just express myself as a stutterer, to potentially help other um, stutterers out there. Um, I'm nowhere near fully, fully um, cured but I was at a point where my stutter was really bad and I greatly improved it so I'm going to share my tips and tricks as well as other new things that I learned so if you're interested in any of the of, that, of this stuff please make sure to subscribe leave a like and comment too I'll see you next time